Hi class and welcome to this direct independent study course. I am Dr. Nancy Shahada and I'll be your professor for this course. So this video I'll be going through the links found on the left hand side course menu bar and just briefly go over the material, the layout of this course just to help you navigate through it. All right, so let's get started. Um, I am going to remove myself and that way we can focus on the screen. All right, so here we are. Here are the links found on the left-hand side course menu bar. We are currently on the home page. Then if you click on the syllabus, you will find the syllabus as well as the weekly course schedule for the course. Make sure to constantly check the weekly course schedule, follow it. The way this course is laid out is it's in two week modules. So there's a total of five modules. Each module is a two week duration or time span. And at the end of those two weeks is when the assignment for that module is due. Now I'm going to jump to the modules link. And before I continue, just to go through what's found in this module link, I just want to quickly go over the links found on the left-hand course menu bar. So we have the announcements, the assignments that are due, a discussion board. So those are the discussions that we have in this course. Uh, we have the icebreaker where you introduce yourself to the class. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there are any other discussion board assignments. And then the people that are in this course, as well as the grades. Now, just to let you know, any of the assignments that are due or a paper submission link, you will find it in the module in which that assignment is due. So just keep that in mind. Now, in this, right now I'm in the module link. And I do want to quickly go over the student resource module for this course. Now, just to give you a heads up, I either call this course an independent study course or a direct independent study course. Both terms are used interchangeably just to get, you know, just to minimize any confusion. And here are a number of different content pages that will just provide you with some additional information that you might need in this course. So, Really quick, one of the most important ones that I want to point out is the assigned course projects page. Now, when you click on this page, you will find the due dates for this direct independent study, as well as a sample paper, a sample outline. So you have an idea of the format I expect you to use. And as I scroll further down, um, you'll find more tips, writing tips, uh, tips on creating a PowerPoint presentation because there is a video presentation that is due in this um, independent study course. And we do use an APA writing style. So these videos are actually on the APA writing style. All right, let me scroll back up. I don't want to get you dizzy. And I'm going to jump back to the modules. Now, here are different uh, content pages discussing different things that may be added to the course. Go through whatever, you know, go through them. But the main one I want to make sure that you are acquainted with is the assigned course projects. You'll also definitely be using the content page on the instructions on how to create a video presentation and um, tips on being successful in this course, make sure to check it out. And of course, if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out to me. Now that pretty much gives you an overview of the layout of this course. And let me jump back in here. All right, so you should see me on the screen now. If you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out to me. I am very excited to get to work with each of you one-on-one. -on -one. I don't always have the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with my students. So believe it or not, other than this being a learning opportunity for you, it's one for me as well. And I just look forward to working on this independent study with you and having a great term with you all. Take care. Bye.